What, what I just wanted to say is that, uh, what, what I want to capture, so I remember when I forget, is that um, the soul, your soul, my soul, <laughs> uh, it knows how to heal itself. It knows exactly what you need. It heals itself. It's the one healing the body. And where we are identified with what we are not, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to now say I. Where I am identified, um, With a belief about myself. That's when the energy is in the head. It's not in the body. That's the energy streams that are going into the mind. Into the brain. Not into the body. And these are energy streams. This this is uh, what the body needs. You know. To stay. To be able to do all the movements. It does. It's all about the physical actual... Um, matter being moved around and that takes energy and so as the energy goes into the brain or um, the mind I guess that's also goes into the brain that's just what I'm going to Imagine that it's like that right now. I'm going to roll with it. Yeah, that's that's how it presents itself to me. But here's the thing. Aha! It's not the brain. Because if I imagine my energy going to my brain, I can actually feel my brain. I can actually feel my body. You know, the physical part of it. The physical part of it like I'm thinking of now I'm imagining my energy flowing into my brain and I'm starting to feel my brain and that's a very very different experience this is very nice actually um, then if I go into my thoughts my focus when my focus goes into my thoughts, it's a different experience, like into the mind. That's what I mean, the mind. It's the belief system. It's the, con it's the filter through which we perceive reality. That's the mind. I mean, that's one thing it does. The mind does more things than that. instantly it just it just keeps doing that that my uh, focus keeps going into my body when something happens in my body something calls my focus into my body and it's like a huge shift right now it's a contraction that came out of I don't know where and it's a contraction in my um, I guess abdomen and so immediately the focus is drawn back into the body and when I, when, because the soul, that's what the soul does. The, do, the, the soul keeps pulling the focus back into the body because the soul and the body are one. The soul and the body are one. Yes. And then what makes the let's say the soul soul and the body are one you take the body as being like the earth and the soul is the light in the earth's body because things have light i mean um there are these cameras that can capture it I've, I've seen I've seen uh, pictures of, of flowers I don't know how how that camera can capture capture the light of flowers but it's really beautiful 
to see it. So now the energy went into my heart and I got tears. And it's about so many things. So I keep feeling into my body, into the contractions, and I can feel uh, the movements of the air bubbles in there. It seems to be like an air bubble. It's where, where it keeps it apart, you know, it's where the somehow Something that naturally would be together, it keeps it apart because there's a tension. There, there's a tension and this tension has been held for, or if it's been held for a certain amount of time, then it becomes um, stiff. And at some point, it, it's like manifest. It's like that stiffness is there. And it creates this, in a way, unoriginal, unintended, unnatural, if you will, if natural, is being in the uh, center of your column of light, in that center stream, right there in the center, totally balanced. Which means you have all angles open to you, all angles of perception are available to you. And when you then are also situated in the middle of your bicameral brain, you know, on that bridge. And um, then you also, that contraction comes from the belief in separation somewhere. And when you, okay. When your focus is on that bridge in the middle of the bicameral brain, there is that part of you, as much as you can focus in there, your light, because that's what you're focusing is your light. Um, Somehow I start to relax. And, and what relaxing does is that those areas that are separate inside or stiff, contract, stiffed into contraction, which I don't know whether it's stiff or whether they're just contracting now. I don't know that. but it becomes more prominent and then you feel into that because it's what's most prominent in the body as the rest is pretty relaxed feels pretty good then you start to feel that separation and your mind starts to shift accordingly into um, perception of se separation And that's why you begin not to feel so good. And so that's why you shift your focus away from it. When all that it wants in order to relax is your focus, focused attention, 
to feel it. And it doesn't have a value when you feel it. You just feel it, you know. It doesn't have a, the label of bad. And so it's not unpleasant. It's not unpleasant at all because as you're feeling it, you're actually, um, it's like a massage into those stiff areas. Yeah, it's the same way. Really, it is. I mean, because on a physical level, what is happening, you are the inside of your body is massaging the inside of your body, all those stiff areas as you feel it. Because as your focus goes there, your focus attention, you're feeling those areas of contraction, the stiffness. And um, as you're feeling them, you're, you know, there's touch is happening where there was no touch before. So touch is now happening. And so very, very gently on a microscopic level, or I don't know, microscopic, you know, at some kind of a smaller level. Um, the, the tiniest capillaries now are being massaged. And so the blood can come and flow again where it had been um, not able to flow because the veins had been calcified. The veins had been stiff. The veins had been contracted so the blood could not flow there and blood is the what is blood it's really something that ha that's very alive um, it's, it's something if it's not flowing in an area blood ah yeah it's water like what water is on our planet is the blood in our body yeah, and maybe there's more to it. Because it's water filled with, and then this, what are these red, uh, we call them in German, red blood bodies. <laughs> and that's what makes the blood red. But most of the blood is water. And then it has these red little, bodies in them which makes it red and I just wonder what that is but that answer will come later another time it's not important now because what I just wanted to say is that if I allow my soul to take over this moment so I give it you know it's like I give up I give up right now I, and I allow my soul. And um, if I say I give up, what I mean is um, I actually, I don't know what I mean by that. I give up. I give up plans. I give up plans and um, I just take space and time and just do whatever happens, you know, whatever, whatever, like complete allowing. The more you can allow what is, that, you know, you, you will be, you will be in your body, you will be taken to those areas that are dense and denser and contracted 
because you're allowing your soul to come through. You're allowing your body to do what it, what it wants to do. Your body is no longer in service to you, or in better words, that you that is identified um, in a story of you, which is identified um, with the mind. Identified with the mind, which means you're seeing yourself through the filter of a story, to, to, to a filter that, that you're looking through and you're not aware of the filter. So you take life to be this way, yes? That's just how it's always been. That's how you remember it's always been. At least that's how you remember. And to let, to just allow completely what wants to happen. That's what I meant with, I let go. Then it starts moving. I mean, the body starts moving. And it's, it's healing itself. Every movement. See, I'm not judging what's happening right now. I'm just allowing it. And, you know, whatever um, motivates the movement, whatever, wherever it comes from, why it changes, and so forth, it's all where my focus is. And the focus can be on the mind, it can be in the body, it can be in thoughts, it can be in feeling. And it can be in both too. But the more it is obviously in the body, the more it is in the body, I have to say, First of all, the more exciting it gets, and second of all, um, it relaxes. My experience relaxes. My body, as my body relaxes, I begin to heal myself. That's what happens. The body begins to heal itself. It takes on the positions that uh, feel good to it. And, and, um, as the soul takes over, and as I do in every moment, what I want to do. Or at least, if it's not something I really want to do, I choose to do it though. Because it's part of something that I want. It's kind of like a bridge that I don't really like going over. Or it's like, you know, in order to get from here to the forest, I have to cross some areas that are not so nice. But if the forest call is strong enough, I'll take that, definitely take that into account, uh, into consideration. Um... You know, it can't keep me away. That's just what I wanted to say. That's, that's uh, what I wanted to say. And that's what this video was about. And so I'm going to say bye.